Now we are coming to the uh, item 6C, reports of states parties on the use of international assistance from the Intangible Cultural Heritage Fund. Mr. Prashan, today is your benefit, so you're welcome. Thank you, and as uh, Mrs. Duvel promised yesterday, this is the last you will hear from me for a, few mo <laughs> a while. Um, if, as the Brazilian delegation said, the word monitoring is never in the convention, the word reporting is. And one of the reports that is the duty of the committee and the, the, the duty of the beneficiary states, those states that receive international assistance from the Intangible Cultural Heritage Fund are obliged to provide reports on the use that they make of that financial assistance. Um, the Secretariat has not yet been diligently pursuing those reports um, in the first few years of implementation of international assistance. Um, so this is a cumulative report that covers all of the assistance that was provided from January 2008 until the 1st of October of 2013. If we could look at the document to paragraph three, um, <coughs> the graph shows that altogether 28 states parties were granted financial assistance for a total amount of about a little more than $1.5 million in support of 38 projects. Um, of that amount, um, almost a million dollars or 60% of the amount of assistance was granted to Electoral Group 5A, the African states. So you see in the outer circle the dollar value of the assistance that was awarded, the inner circle shows the number of projects, so that Africa not only had more projects, it had more projects of a larger scale. If we can look to the types of assistance, <coughs> about half of the projects approved, 19 of 38, um, represented preparatory assistance. The dark blue and red cells. But in fact, this represents only 10% of the total amount involved. So that the number of individual requests is high, but each request is small. 15 of those submissions were completed and nine of them resulted either in inscription or selection to the urgent safeguarding list or to the register of best practices. The bulk of the international assistance was given for uh, other kinds of, of safeguarding. Um, nine projects were approved for greater than $25,000 representing three quarters of the total amount granted, 77%. 10 projects were granted for smaller projects up to 25,000, representing 13% of the total amount awarded. So as we saw again, the number of small projects is high, but the total amount benefiting them is, is low. How then is international assistance used? The most frequent purpose is to support projects that involve inventorying, the green color. Um, ten of those projects have been completed and have resulted in at least seven national or regional inventories that were drawn up with a view to safeguarding. And the capacities of more than 200 local stakeholders were enhanced. In addition, the process of inventory making contributed to the awareness at the national level and in the local level of the importance of intangible heritage in general and particularly of the specific elements that were the subject of the inventorying. 
And during its meeting on October 28, 2013, Mr. Chair, as you recalled yesterday, the Bureau approved the first ever emergency request for international assistance submitted by Mali in the amount of $307,000 project assistance to Vietnam and preparatory assistance to Kenya and to Uganda. These requests are not reflected in the present document because they were uh, awarded after the, the deadline for completion. Um, the annex to the document provides a, a short summary on each approved project um, and in the future cycles this will become an annual part of your meeting and you will be examining, as you've just done with the periodic reports, not the summary of the Secretariat, but the reports of the, of the state's parties themselves will be made available online and then summarized by the Secretariat. So, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Prashant. Uh, it's important to take stock of the experience that the Convention had had over the past five years with international uh, assistance. Uh, I was very pleased that Bureau uh, was able a few weeks ago uh, to approve the emergency request submitted by Mali, where I was also present. I recall the satisfaction of Bureau members that the Convention was able to respond uh, to the urgent situation without any difficulties and it's a very uh, consensus way we, uh, but at the same time, there were some uh, other less urgent but uh, equally important projects supported by the fund. In general, uh, this is a very positive experience, and uh, I can feel only appreciation for such kind of activity from all members of the committee. Uh, please, can you put the draft decision on the screen? Uh, are there any comments, any proposals, additions, whatever? I and thank you for your support to this decision. Uh, I declare decision 8, com 6C adopted.